All right, everyone, so we are going to do a, do a quick demo on setting up our page and exporting our map. Okay, so this material is covered in your tutorial in the manual for this course, but I want to provide you with an additional resource. So we have our land use change map here. You've already seen this one from me. Okay, and we want to uh, export it as an image file so that we can include it in our final report. Okay, so we are in the layout view in ArcMap. Okay, and what we need to do is to go to File and Page and Print Setup. Okay, now um, we have a couple of different things going on here. Uh, the first section that we want to look at is the paper area. Uh, so this is, if we were to print our map straight from ArcMap, uh, this is what the printer, uh, the size of the paper the printer would use. Okay, um, Letter is the standard uh, printer paper size. Uh, unfortunately, or rather, we are not going to be printing our map straight from ArcMap. Okay, we want to export it as an image file and then just drop it in uh, our Word document with all the rest of our answers and write up. Okay. So what we're going to do is focus on this map page size section. Okay, now you will probably see something different here. In fact, you will probably see something like this, uh, which is the default. And in fact, if we go ahead and click OK here, uh, our layout view will adjust because it is now assuming that we are using uh, that we want our map to be positioned on essentially the size of the paper we will be printing on. But we are not printing this map, we are exporting it as an image. We need to change these settings. Okay, so we are not going to use the printer paper settings. Instead, so we are going to do a custom uh, setting. First things first, we want to set ourselves up in the landscape mode. Okay because at least in our design here, uh, my design, uh, it's oriented uh, in, in a landscape kind of format. That does not have to be how your map is set up, uh, but for the purposes of my design and my layout, we are working in the landscape uh, view. We want the width to be seven. Okay, we know that the newspaper has given us certain constraints uh, this uh, map needs to be five by seven inches. Okay, and since we are working in the landscape view, we want uh, the width to be the longer edge. So in this case, seven inches, and then again, our height will be five. Okay, so we click OK, and we get our correct layout. You'll notice that this ruler up here has changed to indicate seven inches. And there, the ruler over here, hard to see, but it indicates five inches. Okay, so we have our seven by five map in a layout or a landscape view. Now we want to export this as an image file. Again, we will go to File, and we will go to Export Map. Now, we have several options here. First, we obviously want to give our file a name. Uh, you may see a different default here, but we want to choose, we have many different options for our purposes. Saving this as an image file, we can drop in uh, to a Word document or to share more widely. Uh, we want to choose PNG. So this is the type, this is the extension we give to the file. It stands for Portable Network Graphics and it is a very widely used uh, image file format. A few more options down here that are important. Resolution. This just indicates uh, the quality of the image we want to export. DPI stands for um, dots per inch. Okay. Uh, the larger the number, the more uh, resolution we have, the 
the clearer our image will become. However, the larger the uh, image size will be, the lower the DPI, the more coarse our exported image will be, uh, but it will be a smaller uh, file. Uh, by convention, we want usually to be around at least 300 DPI uh, in order to ensure that our image will uh, be legible when we share it to others and be reproducible and printable when others get a hold of it. So we're going to set this to 300 and we will save it as a PNG. I already have this file saved, so I'm going to replace it. And it has exported. And we can go open our folder and open the file that we just exported. And there we have it. Just as an example, if we were to export this at a lower resolution, we can see what that would look like. Okay, these are things you can play around with just to give you a sense of how they do work and the intuition behind them. You can see already that by changing to only 10 dots per inch uh, that we are reducing the number of pixels we are writing to our image and so we can assume just like with a, a raster uh, that we are going to get a lower resolution image. So we save that. We go and open that. and obviously a lot less resolution, completely illegible uh, as much as we try to zoom in. Okay, so we want to aim for 300 DPI. Okay, that is all for a quick walkthrough on laying out our map uh, in the uh, print and page setup menu and exporting it as a PNG.